hello everyone and uh, welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i am gonna show you how to build a solar powered environmental monitoring system with lora okay so let's get started so this is my actual uh, uh, prototype so which i uh, used here so you here you can say i have this uh, c studio uh, zio esp32 s3 sense board uh, then i have uh, one uh, groove uh, light uh, so uv sensor and i have the lora e5 module the vo e5 module so this sense this uh, controller can directly get the data from the sensor and it will transmit to the uh, network okay so i can use the ttn or i can use uh, other uh, platform to send my lora data so this is my actual prototype then i just converted this prototype into this uh, this schematic so here you can see i have uh, this controller so in my prototype, I actually use this uh, Zio ESP32 S3, but in my actual uh, project, actual PCB, I just use this uh, Zio NR52840 Sense because uh, I feel that that will be more compatible uh, and it also has some onboard uh, IMU and uh, PD, PD mic sense. Okay, so I can directly use this. So this is my additional I2C sense, uh, connection. So what I think now, I can add uh, more I2C connections. So I can easily add uh, other sensors. Then this is the VO E5, the LoRa E5 module. So I just use the RXTX, the UR communication directly with this controller. And I have this uh, BME680. So what I plan now, I just added the BME680 into my PCB board itself. Okay. So this is the actual uh, diagram, the schematic diagram. And apart from that, I have added uh, uh, the USB-C power supply for the PCB board as, as well as I have the LD wood to regulate the power supply Apart from all these things I have added uh, solar power. So my PCB board uh, actually has uh, The solar panel so without any uh, direct power supplies we can directly use that board in the uh, outdoors, okay, so that is what uh, I plan and uh, yeah, This is the schematic look like and I actually use uh, seed uh, fusion PCB service to fabricate my board and uh, I got really good board and uh, here you can see the status everything and I got the board actually so you can see everything here so you can see all the things and actually I, I made all the assemblies everything with the seed fusion service itself so I got uh, around uh, 10 PCB ports and uh, three of them with the assemble and uh, everything is in good quality okay so these are my previous uh, boards so this is my first revision board uh, which i got from seed studio so here you can see uh, this is a uh, zio rp2040 and uh, lora e5 so i just use uh, some jumpers to check whether it's working fine or not so this is my first revision of the boards so you can see the two of them then uh, i made another uh, revision so this is the smaller one so you can see which has uh, the USB 32 S3 sense uh, with LoRa E5 and the uh, other connection, the small one. Then I created another one which contains uh, the MMA sensor. So you can see the LoRa as well as uh, the Zio NRA 5840 sense and the MMA sensors. So this can be worked in plenty of ways. So the other one, and this is the latest one which I got from Seed Studio. So here you can see. Okay, let me show you the PCB panel so you can see the PCB panels quality it's, it's a just a matte black so everything is just a good quality PCBs and uh, so front side is for all the components and back side is for the solar panels and uh, yeah this is my assembled PCBs so you can see here you can see the zero nr 50 to 840 cents and uh, the lower e5 and uh, PCB antenna as well as uh, the battery charge controller circuit as well as i have the black panel with covered with the uh, solar panel and this is the bme 680 sensor so in this video i will show you how to use this one and uh, how it's actually working okay so first of all uh, let me connect this board to the uh, my computer okay so let me just connect this one okay so this board is powered up now you can see this uh, green led means this is the system is now powered up so next what i can do now i can uh, directly open the arduino ide so i have already tested everything so now let me directly just uh, open the example sketch for the bme680 and let's check whether the bme680 is working fine 
so this is the demo sketch for the BME 680 so let me just remove the uh, SPA blocks because I don't want to use the SPI I want to use the I2C so I just remove the unwanted elements yeah I think I think this is good so what we can do we can directly upload this thing so go to the tools and select the ZO NR5840 sense and uh, select the correct COM port so in my case it is uh, COM33 just select and just upload so it's taking time to upload it's been well, we can just see the PCB qualities so you can see how much is it's clear PCB boards okay you can see and I got a uh, plenty of updates from the team they just sent me like we, we just did this thing we just did this thing so this is what I actually did and I have this group port so I can easily connect uh, the other I2 sensor directly to the controller so I have the USB-C port and uh, some other jumpers to check whether my board is working fine or not so it's actually loading let's see uh, how it is working so it's uploading yeah it's trying to upload okay so it's loading yeah let's it's done. let's open the serial monitor and see the response okay so you can see right the temperature is 54 and the pressure is uh, 951 and and humidity and the gas everything so the single board can measure uh, plenty of parameters so so we can use this thing for the environmental marketing project and uh, much more so you can see this BMA 68 is working fine so we are good to go with the next step so the next step is uh, let's check the LoRa connectivity okay so I have already tested this LoRa connectivity so maybe I can just uh, uh, directly we can move on the TTN part so I have already created the sketch uh, yeah this is my sketch so here you can see I have uh, added this uh, Adafruit uh, tiny USB because uh, without this we can't actually work with this NR52 so I just added this library and uh, I just added the uh, code snippet to send my data to the uh, TTN so maybe I can show you the TTN portion ah, okay so this is the credentials for the my system uh, so you can see my app key and uh, all these data and I'm using this EU868 uh, frequency so so since because uh, my gateway is configured with this one so I just want to use this thing so yeah and uh, here you can see right uh, I'm just uh, collecting the data of uh, temperature humidity pressure gas and uh, attitude and I'm just uh, sending all this data to my uh, network so you can see I have uh, five data one two three four and five and everything will be sent to the cloud network so next the thing is we just need to upload this thing so we can directly just upload okay it's taking time okay it's trying to upload let's wait until finish yeah okay so it's uh, finished the upload let's open the serial monitor and see the response okay so you can see that uh, the readings okay it's starting the low rock connection okay let's wait until it is trying to ping the network okay so it's it's stationed into a giant because I have already added everything so let me open my uh, LoRa. okay let me open my uh, TTN so you can see this is my uh, end device page in the TTA network so you can see my uh, project name is solar logger and uh, you can see I have added uh, two devices actually I have uh, four devices sense 7 3 1 and 2 so the one which we are using is sense 7 okay so here you can see the data altitude gas temperature humidity pressure everything and uh, this is the live data from the system so you can see all the live data here and uh, this is my payload actually so payload formatter is uh, I am using this uh, demo this this simple payload formatter which can decode my uh, five different data temperature humidity pressure gas and altitude so now you can see my system response okay you can see here uh, the current data is received six seconds ago and the temperature is 34 pressure is 957 humidity gas altitude and you can see the light is actually uh, blinking in three different ways so it will uh, green and it will automatically turn to red to send the data and again green 
so green red green so we'll just uh, follow the sequence and the next thing is we need to create some uh, enclosure right so this is what i have uh, created so i have this uh, 200 milliampere uh, battery with 3.7 volt so i just made a jumpers to connect this thing so let's first uh, plug the jumpers to the battery portion and ground okay so let's okay so next thing is we need uh, one more jumper to make the power supply so i'm just uh, connecting this thing so since it is my first division of the board i just made uh, more jumpers to check okay so you can see the power system is powered up now and uh, we can just close the enclosure yeah that's all our uh, solar powered uh, lora environmental logger is now ready so you can see the green light is here blinking and it will turn into red soon yeah it's red which means it is now going up and uh, here you can see the receive data is 10 seconds ago so we can easily use this thing and bottom we have the solar panel so it will automatically charge in the solar okay so that's all about our project and if you have any questions or anything you need to ask uh, let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching and thank you bye